Hello viewers, on today's episode, we are going to be talking about how to lower your blood pressure using home remedies or some of the natural ways to lower your blood pressure without medications. Before I talk about some of these common ways to lower your blood pressure, please hit the subscription button and stay tuned by hitting the notification bell so that you'll be updated and notified when any new video comes up from my, my channel. About 70% of lowering blood pressure is by lifestyle and food modification. Only 30% is by medication. Even those we prescribe medications to them, we always counsel and advise them to live a healthy lifestyle and eat healthy. So here are some of the ways or natural ways to lower your blood pressure. The first thing you can do is to walk and exercise regularly. Exercise is one of the best things you can do to lower your high blood pressure. Regular exercise helps make your heart stronger and more efficient at pumping blood, which lowers the blood pressure in your arteries. In fact, 150 minutes of moderate exercise, such as walking, or 75 minutes of vigorous exercise, such as running per week, can help lower your blood pressure and improve your heart health. The bottom line is that working just 30 minutes in a day can lower your blood pressure. More exercises helps reduce it even further. Another thing you can do to also lower your blood pressure is drink less amount of alcohol. Drinking alcohol can raise your blood pressure. In fact, alcohol is linked to 16% of the high blood pressure cases in and around the world. While some research has suggested that low to moderate amount of alcohol may protect the heart, these benefits may be offset by the adverse effect it brings. The bottom line is that drinking alcohol in any quantity may raise your blood pressure. Limit your drinking in line with the recommendations. So it is recommended that one bottle per day for women and then two bottles per day for men in terms of alcohol. Another thing you can do to lower your blood pressure is to learn to manage the stress. Stress is a key driver of high blood pressure. Whenever you are chronically stressed, your body is in a constant fight or flight mode. On a physical level, this means faster heart rates and constricted blood vessels. Several studies have explored how reducing stress can lower your blood pressure. Here are two evidence-based tips you can try. You can try listening to soothing music. Calming music can help reduce your nervous system. Research has shown that it is an effective complement to other blood pressure therapies. Then also, working less. Working a lot and stressful situations in general are also linked to high blood pressure. Another effective way to reduce your blood pressure is to lose weight. The effect is even greater when weight loss is paired with exercise. Losing weight can help your blood vessels do a better job of expanding and contracting, making it easier for the left ventricle to pump blood. Losing weight can significantly lower high blood pressure. This effect is even more significant when you exercise alongside. Another thing is to quit smoking. Amongst the many reasons to quit smoking is that the habit is a strong risk factor for heart diseases. Every puff of cigarette smoke causes a slight and temporary increase in blood pressure. The chemical in tobacco, such as nicotine, are also known to damage your blood pressure, which can significantly contribute to increasing your blood pressure. With regards to foods, you might want to reduce your sodium intake. When I talk about sodium, I mean salt. Salt intake is high around the world. In large part, this is due to processed and prepared food. So we like eating prepared and already processed foods. For example, processed cheese is high in sodium. Okay, So according to the Food and Drugs Authority, the daily value for sodium or salt is less than 2,300 milligrams per day. That is the amount that the body can tolerate and is enough for the body to function properly. Fresh meat is a natural source of sodium. It contains up to 70 milligrams of sodium. So consuming 
a large portion of fresh meat can also increase your your blood pressure so you might want to cut down on your fresh meat intake fishes and shellfish eating three ounces of lobster can mean consuming more than 400 milligrams of sodium which can accumulate along the day or in a day increasing your blood pressure because the amount of sodium in the blood is increasing steam steamed fish with little salt is the best way to eat your favorite fish breakfast cereals which are already made packs a lot of sodium more than what the body needs or what is deemed healthy another thing you can also do with regards to food that can lower your blood pressure is to make sure you eat potassium rich foods potassium is an important mineral which helps and it helps your body get rid of sodium and eases pressure on your blood vessel foods that are particularly high in potassium include green leafy vegetables tomatoes potatoes bananas beans tuna and salmon so high blood pressure affects a large proportion of the world's population while drugs are one way to reduce the condition there are many other techniques which i've already mentioned okay so you might want to reduce some some of your salt intake and increase your potassium intake make sure you exercise properly and reduce your stress so these are some of the ways and home remedies or natural ways to make sure you reduce your blood pressure you don't want to get to the situation where medications is the only way you can lower your blood pressure so these are some of the helpful and healthy tips to lower your blood pressure till i come your way the next time please hit the, subs the subscription button and hit the notification bell for more important updates and stay tuned stay healthy